All right, we are off on a mission to find our new spot. Gonna run some errands first. Stopping here at a grocery store and checking out this Concorde. That's got one fancy back window. I love it. It's like a house window. Fancy house window. All right, you guys, I'm gonna be taking a late night stroll over to a Walmart before they close. It's like 10, just 10, 12. They close at 11. 24 hours savings is still not 24 hours. I guess, uh, not at this Walmart anyway. Winco's open 24 seven. stretch my legs and get some fresh air okay we're going with this McCormick garlic salt since the uh, Lowry's doesn't seem to have it without sea salt now uh, I know where I might go then Everything's looking good. We're all supplied. Not seeing too many empty spots. I have been keeping an eye on that since uh, watching a few prepper channels, and I know they're pretty bad about the fear mongering, but they're talking about supply shortages. So we'll keep an eye on it. Something's missing here, but it is 11 at night, and they've only just started restocking. Hmm. A new kind of ramen. Chef Wu. Chef's kind of good. 24 cents? Vegetarian. Yuck. It all says vegetarian. What the hell? Never mind. Give me a couple of these while I'm here. I like these. Uh, yeah, just the albacore. Four bucks each, but these are really good. Wild Planet. All right, got some supplies. Let's go back and relax for a couple more days. Then we'll get moving. All right, time to move on been here like a week and a half or so I've lost track it's been nice really nice except for this hill I'm on this really sucks actually it's getting uh, it's getting old real fast so I'm gonna go find a level spot and get a few more projects done and uh, just get a little bit closer to a little, little trip north it's still in the plans just want to get some things done first here where I know everything's at I want to hit up the steel yard I want to get me a ch um, last time I was there, I saw a short piece of I-beam, which would be perfect for uh, like an anvil, some small little anvil thing. So I want to stop by that steel yard and grab me a chunk of steel. I forgot what I was doing that I needed that on, but I realized I don't have anything to smack things. Nice hard surface to, you know, whack things with a hammer. Yeah, still a few things left, but we're getting close. some rain today. Gonna make it 
quick stop at the Walmart before hitting the road. Okay, let's go inside and get some things. Gotta give me a ratchet strap, some rope, and some rain gear. Oh, these have been on my list for a little while now. Some I need some four by sixes. Hmm, 37 bucks for the uh, front two. I don't. I don't think I'm doing any traveling too soon. The uh, radio is really nice on the long drives. Putting around in town, I don't really listen to it. So that can wait. Yeah, gas cans don't ever buy these. They're such junk. With these. Oh, they changed the design. These ones suck. Gimmicky piece of crap. These are a little more. Anyway, gas cans, straps, ratchet straps. I think they sell just one, yeah. Only one. It's not ratchet. Where's the singles? I know they have singles. Oh, they sell D-rings? That's good to know. Five bucks. That should work. Rope. I wonder if that's nearby. Rope? Ah. Just calling my name. You'll see later what we're doing with all this nonsense. Uh, let's see if that'll be strong enough. I like the little. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that's your six. I'll spend a dollar less and get the pretty green stuff. There's the big, big stuff there. Wow. A couple of bucks more. Fishing is something I've been wanting to get into for a while now. Just can't quite find the time. Where's your rain gear at? Uh, like hot chips? Yeah. You better get a BB gun. Alright, last thing on our list will be the rain gear. Oh look, they got the seven gallon things back in stock. Somebody was asking me about that the other day. These are, uh... Those are the big ones. Ooh, Main USA, that's nice. Feels good. Yeah, that's a nice water tote. Seven gallon, or six gallon. Got the six gallon and the seven gallons. Not made in USA. Where is it? It's like Canada. Huh, that's a new one. As long as it's not true, that works for me. I get that though. Always go, what do you say? Alright, poncho. Over here. Got some nice looking backpacks. Rain gear, rain gear, rain gear. We got tarps. Got some uh, emergency ponchos for super cheap. Better than nothing, but uh, they usually sell a, I don't know, like a full set. I'm not seeing it. Ah, here we go. I think. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Um, God, these tear are so easy though. It's a lot of money right now. I might pass. I'll just go. Here's 
more emergency ponch ponchos for even cheaper. Get a few of these. Huh. That's interesting. Albany, Oregon. Hmm. Eggs. Intel Core i3, eight gigabyte. SD RAM, 256 gigabyte S SSD, solid state drive. Is that a good deal? I was looking to spend about 2K on a good video editing laptop, which I would prefer to do than get another one of these Walmart ones. I've done that before and was not happy with it. Got the rope. Got some saline solution. Sometimes I get crap in my eye and like this stuff so I've got you know buy always buy two of everything nowadays since at least the consumable stuff since the craziness stock up one for in the RV and one for storage a couple spares of the rain gear one for my bug out bag and one for in here let's take a quick look at this though and here's some if it don't fit or something Yeah, this is a pretty handy deal. A little tiny package. Just ran off here. It's like a... About the thickness of a Ziploc baggie. Pretty decent size hood on it. For a buck, I'd say it's worth it. Okay, that is possible to get back into the baggie. Probably not if it's wet, but if you let it dry it out, use that once or twice. chunk. Just a small piece. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of steel. Alright, I got... Couldn't make up my mind, so I got the big one and the little one. They all got, got all sorts of I beam scrap over there. I was coming, I think this is the one I saw like two weeks ago. I got uh, got the one I wanted, but then I saw the bigger one. I thought, well, maybe I need the bigger one. See, so yeah, I couldn't make up my mind. Got them both, uh, 20, 25 pounds exactly. Came out to 18.97, I think is what he said. 18 something, almost $19. Now we got a nice fat chunk of I beam to do some smacking on. I can't, I'm not sure which one will be better. That's kind of I like the height on this one. This is kind of handy though. It's not very heavy. It's like nine pounds. This is like what 17 pounds or something. 16 pounds. Anyway.
quick right check. Turn signal's good, marker lights are all still working. Got that generator cranking away with that water heater hooked up. Had to turn everything off to make that work. So, I'll get my dishes done, we're here at the rest area. It's gotten a bit of rain today evening anyway but it's sporadic and uh, I'm getting a break right now nothing else to report all systems are a go things are good no I was wrong I got my PC going so that generator can handle the hot water heater and the computer Well, the PC kicked the bucket. It's got a bad power supply from what I read on the internet. I'm gonna go tomorrow to a local computer store. If they don't have what I need, I'm gonna drive all the way to, uh, to a Best Buy over in Oregon, since we don't have them here in Washington anymore for some reason. And, uh, it is a new power supply. I'm pretty sure that's all it is. I don't know what else that could possibly be. I've had a lot of computer issues and they all end up with some kind of blue screen or something, but I've never had one that couldn't it just shut down and couldn't turn back on. I tried to turn back on, but uh, briefly, briefly the light came on and just shut off. We'll see. If that power supply doesn't fix it, I'm in a world of hurt. It's going to be very bad. Cooking up some of this smoked andouille, or however you say that. It's really good and it smells amazing when you cook it. Some garlic salt. Time to go out and start that Jenny. It's, uh, I have noticed this year that these batteries are not doing so well. They don't make it through the night anymore. So let's uh, gonna have to put that on my list somewhere to take a look at the batteries and maybe find some replacements. It wasn't too long ago I checked the water le or the uh, fluid levels on them and they are topped off. And uh, yeah, they're just not doing so good anymore. I don't think they're quite at the end of their lifespan. They're just, I don't know, halfway there, I guess, maybe. Also, it is getting cold enough. I think I can uh, go ahead and start up this diesel heater. I think it's about time. Get a little propane anyway. Yeah, 10 gallon, uh, 
about nine gallons of diesel there. I'm excited to try out the full five gallon can. I think that'll go a long time. So good in here. I love cooking that sausage. A little headlamp. I love this thing. Hands free. Nice and bright. It's even got some weird motion thing on it, which uh, is kind of blinding since you have to put your hand right in front of your face, and when it comes on, it's like uh, yeah, it kind of blinds you. So it's kind of handy, hands free uh, on and off there. Power. Yeah, I like to keep that low. It's, it's not too cold yet. Let's go check. Uh, That's a no-go on the first try. I don't even see the uh, pump symbol. For some reason, it's not pumping. So let's go ahead and try and shut that down. Set it. That didn't go too long. Just got an error E08. Or error 8. Probably an air bubble since I switched out the tanks. E08. Lack of fuel may need to be restarted a number of times to refill fuel lines. 
may also need to check the fuel filter and then make sure there's no airlock from switching that tank over. Let's go ahead and start it back up. It shut down on its own apparently. There it goes. Full blast. A lovely night here at the rest area. How much saved me a half a tank left on that propane? That's good. Good to save that for cooking and emergency heat. Diesel just works out so much better as far as uh, saving on energy or fuel usage. Camper truck and a Jeep. Pretty nice setup there. And we got a Volvo over here. Oh, I need to get me out some. Uh, oh man, I don't have any games right now. American Truck Simulator, I've been craving that lately, but it's like a got a giant update, and I don't want to use up my hotspot on that. I need to go find uh, some Wi Fi. American truck. I'll get some more American Truck Simulator gaming videos up later. Stay tuned on the gaming channel for that.